Yo, what's up guys, Grey here, and today we've got our week 7 battle of the BBL. We're going up against Incog and his Boston Cyndaquils, and um, yeah, make sure you go check out his channel. Before I get into anything else, go check out his channel. Uh, it's linked down in the description below, as well as all the other coaches in the BBL this season. I keep wanting to say BBR. I don't know how many times I've messed that up during the season. Uh, Durant, <laughs> this is how bad things are going to be, okay? It doesn't go anywhere up from here. Um, so, breaking the fourth wall. Uh, it was... I, I mean, I'm recording early. Um, yeah, breaking the fourth wall. Uh, playing this after the England Denmark game, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean we won, so there's that. Let me just you know, register my team whilst we're whilst we're having a little chat. Um, yeah, so we won that game. However, it's 120 minutes. It's a bit tense. Not gonna lie, a little bit tense. Never doubt with us, of course, but you know, it was a bit, a bit closer than I would have liked. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit shattered at this point. I've had a couple of drinks. So I've had one drink. I'll tell you, I've had an energy drink and I've had alcohol, which probably is a worse mix than a couple of drinks, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit, <laughs> a little bit shattered. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, he's going to say I'm 152. Let me just quickly. I should probably be messaging. Got it. Uh, I'll be 152. Good luck. That's not good luck. Good luck, have fun. There we go. We wish people luck here. It doesn't make a difference. Like, if they hack us out, then so be it. It's, if you want to call it karma for saying good luck, then that's on you. I don't believe it at all. So, yeah. Where was I? Who knows? Who knows where I was? I'm just going to go ahead and press that, and whenever he is ready, he's ready. Um, you've already seen from the... Uh, the team this week, we have made some trades, and we are bringing three of them this week. Um, none of it was intended to be specifically for this team, but it just so happens that they're pretty good against this team. So, uh, yeah, and Cork's team is a little bit weird, much like much of his prep is. So I have no idea what to expect. If this was a normal game where I could probably just click buttons and be fine, then that's one thing. Uh, when you're playing in Cog, you've got to expect the weird stuff, like maybe there's a banded Tapu Fini that's coming to this game. Uh, maybe a special Solgaleo, who knows? Um, but there's probably going to be some weird shit. And uh, yeah, we made some trades. Should probably have got back on that. Yeah, I've gone for a tangent on that one. Um, yeah, we made some trades. We picked up Kurum, Regieleki, Scrafty, and another Mon. I think it was a Grass type. I could be wrong. What, the, what, the, what else did I pick up? Um, this was kind of the team I expected. Uh, no flying types is really nice because Earthquake is so spammable in this game. Um, what was the other Pokemon? I picked up a Fwacky. Fwacky, you know, bonk. He's a, he's a good boy. Um, we dropped Heracross, we dropped Bisharp, and two other Mons. Um, Articuno, Glaring Articuno. And yeah, some, something else. Just something else. There, there was another Mon that did get dropped. Um, I'm going to lead off Regieleki. This man does not have a ground type. He did not bring a Raichu. Um, if he leads off with Keldeo and clicks Hydro Pump, then yes, we do die. Um, if he isn't... That's only if he's Scarfed. If he's Scarfed Timid, then yes, we die. Um, if he is not Scarfed, we outspeed guaranteed. And we get to click a button. We don't have a switch into cure him. Perhaps should have looked at that before clicking the button, but... Maybe Scrafty is expendable here because he's only brought all three Psychic types, so Scrafty is not ex expendable at all. Um, in fact, Scrafty beats most of this team, um, but it won't. It's a Scrafty still. It's, it's not going to do it. Um, yeah, good luck have fun to my opponent, who apparently is invisible. Who knew? Uh, maybe that's why he's doing so well this season, because nobody can see him. He's John Cena. This man's John Cena. Oh shit, no, there he is. That is incredible. Uh, the Curum is the lead. I'm going to be honest, it's not what I wanted to see. Um, if this thing is Choice Scarf, then it's going to kill me. Do I outspeed Choice Scarf Curum? Um, if he's just speed creeping... If he's just speed creeping 
my mon here. If it was modest. Can timid out speed. Timid that is specs. That's fine. I should outspeed by one. What is my current Reggie like he said? No, yes, yes, yes. I should outspeed this regardless. So I'm going to Volt Switch. We do outspeed it, so that's good news. Solid damage. We get to scout a little bit. Um, however, my only switch in realistically is Crafty. So uh, let's get a Cure in Black and let's see how much I die. Uh, Icicle Spear, I die quite a bit. Can you get two? Is two a possibility? Two is a possibility. Uh, Cure in Black, Dragon Dance. I mean, I got two hits. That's looking to be jolly. It's not life or blow. So it's adamant. Could be adamant. It's just adamant. Possibly adamant. Uh, regardless, I think I just want to click knockoff. I think that's the play. I think Finny comes in. I think Finny always comes in. Finny's a problem. Finny's annoying. I don't like Finny here. Uh, that is actually the Caldeo. If this is physical. I swear if this thing is physical. I don't have a switch into this either. Do I live a hit? Can I afford to live a hit here? If it's specs, I sure sure would not expect to live a hit. Um, Again, switch in's really coming in at a premium here. Uh, the fighting type move is kind of more free. I do like the earthquake spam. Do I take a hit? If this is not specs, do I take a hit? Um, I'm at 142. Uh, 83, I should live a hit. The issue is Thunder Punch really isn't doing all too much in return. But do I want damage on this? I mean, I don't necessarily have a switch in. So... Uh, I think Thunder Punch is just the best play. Subs. Fantastic. Okay, that's base case scenario. At least I know what kind of thing I'm dealing with here. Um, just max defense. This should still break a sub. Yeah. Still breaks a sub. Um, it's secret sword because it's got resolute. So yes. If it's modest now, does it kill me? I'm at 152. Uh, modest now cannot knock me out. Thunder Punch looking... Like, probably my best play. If I can get rid of Keldeo, or at least weaken this, I'll take that. I, uh, I mean, this isn't Scarfed, so I now know my Regilecki outspeeds everything, borrow maybe a Scarf. Uh, Scarf, what's it called? Uh, Jirachi. That's the word I'm looking for. Jirachi. Uh, this is not so we tank this, right? Oh yeah, we we chew in them. I say chew in. It's not necessarily chewing it too much. Uh, I mean, he can go for the water type move here. I think I've got to let Scrafty go down. And realistically, I have very little for Curum at that point. Um, I need to get my own Curum in. I mean, my own Curum doesn't do much in this game. Yeah, it's doing like very little as a whole. But the Scrafty's taken so much damage, I don't think it's worth even trying to keep this alive. So, again, let's go down. Uh, he goes for a Scold, I could have gone Curum. Wow. Didn't expect him to go for Scold, not gonna lie. But this is fine, because Aleki comes in again. And Aleki is gonna do what it does best. And it's gonna click a button. Uh, 
could just Volt Switch. I think Volt Switch is always going to be the better play. Uh, I did build a very offensive team this week, I've just realised. Like, there is no... There is no attempts at switching into something here. Um... I mean... Cinderace seems fine. I could also just go into my own Curum because I know it's not necessarily the most useful thing. But, no, I, I think Cinderace is probably a better play. And I can U-turn out into Curum. It puts him in a position where he realistically cannot do much. Like, he has a couple of switch-ins to this, but not a lot. I'm expecting maybe Kebia Berry on... Um, Kebia Berry on the thingy, the finny. I was close with thingy, actually. I was very close with thingy. Sorry, this, is, it, this, this commentary is going to be shit. I hope you all appreciate it. Sends in tap water. How much is a gunk shot doing to this? Tapu Fini. If it is very defensive, it's doing a good amount. If I am a poison type, I'm just poison. Um, I mean, sure. Let's go for it. If we get burned by Scold, that would suck. Um, I could have just U-turned into Kyurem. I think U-turning into Kyurem would have been a safer play. Yeah, against two, two still types, I don't think clicking Gong Shot was the play. And he's probably going to switch out into one of them. Yeah, there's a Sol Galeo, that's the worst case scenario. Should have clicked U-turn. I knew I should have clicked U-turn. I said it. I said I should click U-turn. What did I not do? Click U-turn. Good job, me. Um, Landorus is realistically the only switch, and that's a loose term at best. Uh, he's probably going to know a choice item. Does he get Stealth Rock? He'll probably get Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock will be annoying. Very annoying for my team. I didn't scout for whether or not Sol Galeo got Stealth Rock. Does he get an ice type coverage move? Just goes for Psychic. Okay, it's special. How much is this going to hurt? You know, we're tanking that. We are tanking that. Um, EQ is incredibly free. Just incredibly free. Uh, Finny probably is the switch in. If he goes Finny, I go into Curum and I sub. Do I go sub? I go sub. Because at the very least I can PP still things. He actually lets this take the Earthquake. Uh, it's not taking it amazingly well. Goes for another Psychic. Don't be a roll. You don't want to be a roll. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we click Earthquake again. Does this get Sucker Punch? I, I know nothing about Ubers. I literally know nothing. This is why my season has gone as generally quite poor as it has them. I know nothing about Ubers. Like, not a thing. If this has priority, then I'm dead. And that would kind of suck. I do want to keep this around if I can. Because Earthquake still is pretty free against this team. Um, I mean, Curum sucks in this match. And I'm just keeping it. I'm just sitting on it. But, I mean, with Solgaleo down, I guess this is, like, slightly better. I guess this is slightly better. Uh, Curum. Against Tapu Fini, if it's, like, a calm mindset. That could be an issue. That could definitely be an issue. I mean, Finny should never just beat me unless it's Kebia. Like, it should never just beat my team. It goes into Unhinged. Oh, that puts me in a position. 
I kind of just want to attack this. I do kind of just want to attack it. Because Earthquake is doing so much damage. I mean, I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. Um, like, Curum isn't great. This is actually pretty good for the rest of the game. Um, I mean, Aleki can kind of just win. Aleki can kind of just win. That is the alternative. I'm going to click Earthquake. This damage will be big for Aleki. Yeah, that puts it in Thunderbolt range. I am fine with trading my Lando effectively for those two Ubers. I, I am very okay with that. The question is... Uh, I mean, surely Cinderace's U-turn. Yeah, Cinderace's U-turn looks like it takes out from here. Is that what play I want to make? I mean, I could literally go into, like this thing and weaken other stuff. That could also be a good play. Uh, this should always kill, right? I believe it should always kill. Judging off the damage... Judging off the damage that Lando did, a U-turn here should always do enough. Should always do enough. So I'm gonna click it. Is it like 20%? It would have to be... Like, even max HP shouldn't take lifts yet. Like... U-turn should be the best play. If he goes into Finny, it gets a Leki in. And the Leki really does kind of click buttons against his team. He may be Trick Room on Bro. On Bro? On Slow King. Slow King he has. Um, please kill. Thank you. So, yeah. Effectively, Lando took out both the Ubers in this game, which is kind of cool. That is kind of, kind of nice. Um, I just go into Reggie Alecki. There is literally no reason for me to not do so. Uh, Earth Power is looking pretty free as well. I could have just gone Curum. Could have gone Curum and Freeze Dry. Octave, that is the Jirachi. Okay. Well then, we're going to see... What kind of set this is, I think. Um, do I still need a Lecky? I mean, I'm going to Thunderbolt. There's surely nothing this can do. And I'm going to be proven very wrong any moment now. Uh, that does much damage. Psychic, yeah, that shouldn't knock me out by any means. Does do a lot of damage, though. Does a lot of damage. Uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, then... I kind of want to just get my Naga in at some point, if I can. Could have Wild Charged there, just in case the Slowking came in. I still think I value health on this. I don't think I want to just throw it away for no reason. Thunderbolt still does, like, what it needs to do. Yeah, Thunderbolt's going to pick up another kill. Aleki coming in clutch. Five points, this thing. Granted, don't have an electric type. Uh, don't have a ground type, and uh, one electric immunity was a Raichu. But Reggie Aleki coming in pretty big. Pretty good, this this game. And it should always be able to knock out the... Uh... Yeah, this thing could be, could be a problem. I'm going to Volt Switch, and I'm going to see if I can calc, like... Is this going to be... This surely will be AV, right? That is not AV. At all. That is certainly not AV. Um, so I'm going to go out into my Curum. And hope that this isn't a throw. It's not AV. So Earth Power should now knock this out. Just goes for Psychic. That's fine. Tanking that one just nicely. It's not enough that I can sub up on it. 
but it's still, you know, taking it quite nicely. Uh, Earth Power looks like a roll to kill. Assuming this is like just max HP from the amount of damage that took from Full Switch. Uh, yeah, Earth Power. Oh, Shucker. Shucker. Interesting. Now, a Trick Room here would kind of suck. Just goes for Slack Off. I mean, this is fine. Because it looks like my Earth Power is definitely doing more. Looks like it's definitely doing more, and I can just roost on certain psychic turns. Like, yeah, I can just kind of spam Earth Power at this point. Look at these new signings coming in. Scrafty doing something. Basically getting rid of the Keldeo. Keldeo became less of a threat. Uh, it's actually going to switch. Now I can see how much this is going to do to Tapu Fini. We're looking 24 to 29. 24 to 29. Show me 24 to 29. That looks like 24 to 29. Get us for death drop as well. I'm sorry, man. That is a rough turn for that to happen. <laughs> that is a really rough turn. Um, I mean, I'm going to freeze dry. Because this will knock it out if it stays in. It's actually quicker. Does this kill me? It doesn't. Um, I can roost on the Slow King now. Because this should always knock it out. Um, it was offensive. Like, that looks like offensive damage to me. Moonblast. That's Moonlight. That's not going to show me a damage calc, is it? Uh, Moonblast. Yeah, that was, that was certainly offensive. So I don't think this for death drop mattered realistically at all. Um, I am going to just roost. And I don't want to be that guy. But I also do need to preserve differential because my differential is absolute garbage at the right like right now. It's absolutely atrocious. And we can see that I should just be able to roost all to a point where I'll be back at enough health to live this hit. This is going to be a little stooly at the end here. It is going to be a little stooly, but uh, in Cog, if you're watching this, I do apologise, but you you got to understand that this differential certainly could come into play like with my current record as it is. Uh, so he's used like three of them on me now. Uh, I can live this next one and go for Earth Power. I swear if I get a Spadef drop and he doesn't get the Spadef drop at some point, I'm going to be mad for him. But yeah, another Earth Power should knock out as long as it doesn't crit here. No, he does get a spadef drop just one turn too late. Um, and yeah, I think another Earth Power should absolutely just knock this out. And it's looking like a 4 row win. For somebody who has you know, had to endure a lot in today's football match. And I wouldn't say I'm tipsy off one drink. I think that's going a bit too far. But you know, I'm a little bit... I'm jolly. I'm jolly. We'll go, we'll go with that. That's the British way of saying things. Um, yeah, good game to Incog. Fuck knows what this commentary is like. Um, I apologise for whatever I've said during this. I think I was still pretty okay. I don't know. I'm quite tired. Uh, yeah, good game to Incog. Make sure to go check out his side. Uh, I think the new signings could be quite nice for us. Looking pretty good. Pretty good solid debut for Reggie Lecky, Curum, and Scrafty. Uh, so, yeah. Good game to Incog. Make sure to go check out his side. I've said good game to Incog four times now. Um, so let's make a five good game to Incog. Uh, make sure to check out his side as well as all the other coaches in the BBL. And uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this absolute mess of a ramble that was a battle. Um, I mean, the game was pretty good. Uh, yeah. Till next one, have a great day, guys. Peace.